Today for the air cannon, I've come up with yet another crappy old TV. I've already taken the back off this one, and uh, next thing I'm going to do is cut the implosion band with my grinder to get a better pop from this uh, old TV. This one works, so it'll be uh, shot with the air cannon while plugged in and running. Well, let's cut the implosion band and get it ready. Well, after all that, the implosion band has now been cut, so this TV is pretty much ready to go down range. I decided to cut a bunch of the case of the TV away as well, just so that uh, the camera can get a better view of it blowing up. So this should be a, a good pop. Time to take the TV down range, get the air cannon ready, and do this. This is the setup of the air cannon for this CRT TV. I'm using the fire extinguisher tank uh, with solenoid valve air cannon on my pedestal mount. 72 inch caliber 565 barrel. For ammo, I have a bunch of hard alloy cast lead slugs that weigh between 350 and 400 grains. Range to the target, which can be seen. Uh, at the other end of the shop is my usual 10 meters. This little CRT TV is now set up on the target stand, plugged in and running. The air cannon is coming up to pressure. I'll be firing at 400 PSI. The air cannon is nearly at 400 PSI. It's time I headed 10 meters back up range and took the shot at this old useless CRT TV. Well, it looks like we nailed the TV dead on. First shot, dead center of the screen pretty much. Let's unplug it and have a look at the damage.
Well, my first shot did go right through the face of the screen, but this stubborn little Samsung CRT didn't blow itself to bits despite having the implosion band uh, cut and loosened slightly. Perhaps I didn't loosen it enough. The uh, slug seemed to travel uh, right down through the middle of the CRT to the neck, and it actually pushed the electron gun out the back of the neck of the tube. Also, that shot removed a single electrolytic capacitor from the TV and spat it out onto the floor. This TV definitely needs to be shot again. Here it is set up for shot number two to try and get rid of more of the little stubborn CRT. Very tough little CRT, this Samsung. I'm ready for shot number two, again at 400 PSI. Shot number two didn't knock the TV uh, off the little concrete block it's sitting on, but we have a much bigger hole in the screen, and uh, a lot of the rear of the CRT got removed, but we can uh, shoot this one again, obviously. So, the air cannons coming back up to pressure, we'll go for shot number three. Just about at pressure again, and ready for shot number three. I think I might try and shoot a little higher, and knock more of the stubborn Samsung CRT glass out. Well, this TV can certainly take a fourth shot, so it'll get one. Let's try a fourth shot of this TV. Well, number four managed to knock it down again. At this point, there's not a lot left after four shots, so I've turned it 90 degrees. And I'm going to try and put one in at the edge of the CRT where there's still <laughs> glass left. We'll see if I'm accurate enough to hit there. I'm just about at pressure for shot number five. So, let's go take shot number five. Number five hit the edge somewhere, so... May as well fire again.
the air cannons just about back up to pressure. This will probably be the last shot I take at the remains of this particular stubborn little TV. That seemed to be a good final shot. It knocked the TV right off the cinder block and basically pulverized it. I think I'm happy for today. Well, that was an interesting way to dispose of a garbage TV. Thanks for watching, and there'll be plenty more to come as always.